end of 2015, you're home watching television, the phone rings, it's Hillary Clinton. She says, David, I'm in if you run my campaign. Want to make history again? What's your answer? Uh, a, uh, no, I will not run your campaign, uh, but um, because I'm done with that. Uh, I think that, um, listen, um, I I'm not going to speak to what, uh, what uh, Secretary T. Clinton will or will not do. Uh, there's no question that we had a very tough primary. I'm sure in this audience there were people who were fervent Clinton supporters and Obama supporters. Um, but, you know, you can, it's, it's interesting when you go through something like that, you're the only people that can fully appreciate what it was like. So even though you're really slugging it out every day and you can be really angry and you can hold some grudges, you have deep respect for your combatant who went through it with her. And then to see the amazing job she did as Secretary of State, I think all of us who went through that tough primary uh, just have the highest degree of admiration for her. Uh, she obviously would be an enormously strong candidate if she decided to run. Uh, we've got others, obviously, who, who will look at it, uh, certainly if she doesn't, but it's too, too soon to know. But I, I think that, um, uh, you know, she is in both parties right now, uh, by far, I think, the most interesting candidate, uh, probably the strongest candidate, um, but she uh, has right now uh, the opportunity to take some well-deserved and rare time for her uh, with her family and figure things out. Um, but I, I think that um, all I know is I'll accept the call whenever she calls. Uh, but my, uh, uh, even if it's at 3 a.m. Uh, but my, uh, my days of running presidential campaign, I'm just going to be helping like everybody else. Okay.